It was a great football game. Um, congratulations to Michigan. They played a really good game, and um, I just wish that we could have finished, you know, a little better. But it was a great experience here for our players, and we really appreciate all the Rose Bowl folks who did a wonderful job of creating some really, really fine hospitality for us all week long. Thank Our next you. question. Oh, I'm sorry, Coach. Our next question will be from the front here. Nick, I was wondering if you could elaborate on why you said this is one of the, the best seasons for Alabama football, um, given obviously you guys have won national championships like you have. Well, I, I just think that, you know, I don't look at it necessarily from winning and losing. You won the championship, you didn't win the championship. You know, as a coach, you're always trying to get your team to improve and be the best that they can be. And I think this team probably improved from uh, the South Florida game and the Texas game early in the season as much as any team I've ever coached. And that takes a lot of hard work, a lot of people being very committed to doing things that they need to do to self-assess and improve their game. And uh, all these players bought in on this team and did it um, in first-class fashion. So uh, that's why I think, for me as a coach, maybe not for everybody else, it, it's one of the teams that I always remember most and be the most proud of. The next question will be from the blue jacket in the middle there. This one's for Jalen Miller, Ryan Hennessy, WBTM in Birmingham. Coach said, you know, he wish he could have done more, but many people are saying this is one of his best years coaching. What does Coach Saban mean to you and this team mean to you in general this year? 100%. You know, Coach, coach means a lot to us. We play even harder um, knowing that the coach has the belief system in us. Um, you know, just listening to him talk, he talks about, you know, how proud he is of this team. You know, we have a lot of things we can be proud of from this season, you know. Um, could have easily lingered and passed mistakes. Could have easily uh, went in the tank when things weren't good. But the biggest thing we did was continue to improve, continue to have singular focus in our approach when it came to preparation and when it came to uh, attacking the task at hand. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of things to be proud of. But one thing I am proud of is how, uh, how much Coach Saban, you know, harped on his belief system among us. Our next question comes from the gentleman in the jacket there. This is Johnny Condon, ABC 3340 in, uh, in Birmingham. Uh, Coach Saban, this is for you. Uh, in the first half, um, they were sending blitzes and pressures, and I think they got to you four or five times in the first half. Uh, from a communication standpoint, what was breaking down in the first half? Well, not one particular thing. Um, there was a couple times when we could have redirected the protection, uh, which we kind of put on the O-line uh, to a large degree. And we didn't do it. A couple of times the shot clock was running down and we didn't get a chance to do it. And a couple of times we didn't fan and mis-executed up front in terms of getting the right guys blocked when we were in the right protection. So it was a combination of several things. I thought we did a better job in the second half. Um, but, you know, we didn't give Jaden an opportunity to make some plays, nor our receivers make some plays down the field, which was a big part of this game. Our next question will come from the front here. Coach Saban, could you talk about the last play and what made that one the best one that, that you wanted to go with? Uh, we called three plays. Um, one they called timeout, one we called timeout, and the last one that didn't work. So the fact that it didn't work made it a really bad call. You know what I mean? So, um, but we called timeout because we had a bad look. We had a good look on the first one. Uh, they must have known it. Um, but Tommy just felt like the best thing that we could do uh, was have a quarterback run, uh, which was kind of our two-point play, one of our two-point plays for this game. And the ball was on the three-yard line, which is just like a two-point play. So. But we didn't get it blocked, so it didn't work. We didn't execute it very well, and it didn't work. And they pressured, and we thought they would pressure, uh, but we thought we could gap them and block, block them and make it work, and it didn't. Next question comes from the right here. Hi, Jalen. Mark Myers, AP Radio. How did you see that last play unfold, and, and why didn't it work from your perspective? No, first thing, I'm appreciative of my coaching staff uh, for believing in me to have the ball in my hands on that last play. Um, you win some, you lose some. This is all part of the game, you know. 
uh, with anything, you know, all I, all I came down was fall back to your level of training, and we just failed on that play. That's all it was, you know, because at the end of the day, I just trusted the guys up front for believing me on the last play to have the ball, and unfortunately, we just we just missed, and we just didn't get in the end zone. We have time for two more questions. We have one right here in the blue jacket. For Jalen, Mike Rodak with 247, how much have you and Seth worked on that quarterback center exchange this year, and, and why in your mind was it still an issue at this point in the year? With anything, it takes preparation, whether it's pass protection, whether it's one running game, the passing game. Um, you know, the quarterback and the center have to have a great relationship, and that is something that we try to build um, throughout the whole season. Um, so, you know, there's a multitude of things that me and Seth talk about, and uh, in that regard, you know, that's something we do talk about. Our last question will come here from the front. Uh, Chase Goodbro with the Tuscaloosa News for Coach Saban. Uh, special teams was an area where you all seem to have a pretty big advantage tonight. It was a big reason. I think you were only down three at the halftime. Can you just speak to special teams tonight? Well, I think special teams did a good job tonight. We did a good job of controlling field position. Uh, I think both specialists uh, did a really, really good job. James did a great job of punting. Uh, they had time to maybe go two minutes at the end of the game and fact that he kicked the ball to the two-yard line or one-yard line or whatever uh, was really, really good. Will made some huge kicks, um, what, 250, around 50-yard field goals. Um, so they missed a field goal, which put us in great position to have a chance to be successful at the end of the game. But uh, us not finishing a couple drives, and if you really analyze the game, one of the biggest things is, is we didn't play well enough on defense when we needed to. And the second thing is, is we had too many drive-stopping plays on offense. I mean, we shot ourselves in the foot. Sack is a drive-stopping play. Getting a penalty usually is a drive-stopping play. So um, some of those things we self-inflicted. And, you know, I told the players after the game, I told them before the game, it's going to be about what we do. And when you look back at it, it's, it's kind of about what we did and what we didn't do. Um, not taking anything away from Michigan. They played a great game. They got a good team. They're very well coached. And I uh, wish them the best of luck in the future. But, you know, we could have done things a little better as well. And that's on me, on the coaches. It's not anybody else. Thank you, Coach. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Appreciate what the media has done all year long. Uh, it's great that you give a lot of positive uh, self-gratification to a lot of players who work really, really hard and uh, create a lot of interest in our sport. Thank you for that.